ready to ditch windows for linux mint but unsure if 22.3 is the right jump off point is it really better than linux mint 22.2 for a windows users like me stop guessing this video is your definitive guide directly comparing 22.3 and linux mint 22.2 to reveal which version offers the most seamless transition for new open source adapters Welcome to this head to head comparison of Linux Mint 22.3 versus 22.2. Tailored for folks coming over from Windows. If you're tired of Windows, bloats, ads, and constant updates, Linux Mint offers a fresh start with its user friendly approach. Both versions are built on the solid Ubuntu 24.04 base, providing long term support until 2029. But 22.3 version bring some targeted refinements we will break it down section by section focusing on what matters most for a smooth switch let's start with the initial impressions the visual and feel let's start with that first boot experience which can make or break your initial opinion when jumping from windows on both 22.2 and 22.3 you'll find the three main desktop environments cinnamon the flagship most windows like option the next matte lightweight and classic and last the xfc even lighter great for older hardware cinnamon feels familiar right away with a taskbar at the bottom start menu and system tray much like windows 10 or windows 11 the big visual update in 22.3 is in cinnamon 6.6 the main menu has been redesigned with a sidebar showing your user avatar quick access to places like your home folder or downloads and a favorite section for pinning apps you can tweak the search bar layout and switch to full color icons for categories making it more vibrant and intuitive for a fresh windows user this feels less cluttered and more welcoming than 22.2's menu which is functional but a bit dated in comparison Themes and icons are similar across both with mint's clean green aesthetic no major overhauls here but 22.3 includes suitable refinements for better consistency interface responsiveness is snappy on both browsing files or opening apps feels fluid even on a mid-range hardware if you are used to windows occasional lag both mints will impress But 22.3's menu tweaks make navigation just a tad quicker and more modern. In Mac and XFCE, changes are minimal between versions. Mostly under the hood tweaks like improved search accuracy in Mac's menu from 22.2 onward. If you are picking XFCE for its lightness, both deliver. But 22.3 adds better language and input support, which could help if you are not using English. Overall, 22.3 edges out with a more polished first impression, especially in cinnamon, helping Windows converts feel at home faster. Now, under the hood, performance and stability. Now, let's dive into what keeps things running smoothly: performance, stability, and hardware support. And also, key concerns when leaving Windows ecosystem. Both versions use the Linux kernel 6.14 by default with an upcoming hardware enablement update to 6.17 for better support on the latest gear. Resource usage is comparable during everyday tasks like web browsing or light office work. Expect around 1 to 2 GB RAM and low CPU usage on a typical setup. They're slighter than Windows 11 which often hogs more just idling. Users report both Mint's feeling responsive on hardware from the last decade, with 22.3 adding quality of life fixes that reduce minor hiccups. Driver compatibility is a highlight for Windows switchers. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and common peripherals like printers or external drives just work more often now, thanks to improved detection in Linux kernel 6.14. Nvidia users might need a quicker driver install via the built-in tool. 
but it's straightforward, no command line required. AMD and Intel hardware fares even better out of the box. If you game or run Windows apps via tools like Proton or Vine, 22.3's enhanced anti-sync driver boost performance slightly over 22.2, making things like Steam Play nicer. Stability is a rock solid in both, with few reports of crashes during normal use. Community feedback from recent switches, Razer's means reliability. No blue screens here. However, if you hit an edge case like exotic hardware, 22.3's refinements include better VLAN support for keyboards and input methods, making it marginally more stable. For non-English users or those with international keyboards, 22.3 is a clear win with overhauled on-screen keyboard and iBus integration. In short, performance and stability are neck and neck. But 22.3's tweak give it a slight advantage for broader hardware compatibility and fewer tweaks needed post-install. Now, software and ecosystem. What's new? Switching from Windows means finding alternatives to your go-to apps. So, let's look at the software side. The software manager in both versions is Intitude, like a simplified app store for downloading programs. It supports Flatpak for modern, sandboxed apps. Think Spotify or Discord. And avoids Snap by default for a cleaner experience. Though, you can enable it if needed. Integration is seamless for newcomers. Search, click install, done. No major updates between 22.2 and 22.3 here. But 22.3 benefits from a fresher packages overall. Pre-installed apps are similar. Firefox for browsing. Thunderbird for email. LibreOffice for documents which is a solid Microsoft Office alternative and tools like a media player and image editor. Both include Steam support for gaming with Proton handling many Windows titles flawlessly. No big additions or removals. But 22.3's updated base means slightly newer versions of everything, reducing the need for immediate updates. For productivity, Finding Windows equivalents is easy. VLC for media, GIMP for photo editing, and the ecosystem feels welcoming. If you're into creative work, tools like DaVinci Resolve installs via guides. Though some Windows only software might need Wine. Overall, both versions shine here, but 22.3's polish makes the initial app hunt feel more straightforward. Now, the Windows Convert experience. The key takeaways. From a Windows perspective, Linux Mint prioritizes familiarity without copying everything. Desktop refinements in 22.3, like the revamped Cinnamon menu, make it more intuitive. Pin favorites, quick search files, all in a layout that echoes Windows Start menu, but without the ads. File management via Nemo which is Cinnamon's Explorer, is a straightforward with a drag and drop and thumbnail preview matching Windows Explorer. No regressions. If anything, 22.3 improves consistency across environments. Now, gaming and multimedia. Both handle it well. Steam, Proton for games and built-in codecs for videos. 22.3's anti-sync enhancements means pure roadblocks for Windows ports. And multimedia apps launch quickly without Bluetooth. Battery life on laptops is decent. Better than Windows on older hardware. Though not Mac level, users report 4 to 6 hours on average setups. The biggest win for converts. No forced accounts, no telemetry nagging, and updates that respect your time. Both versions deliver but 22.3 feels more refined for first-timers. 
Now, final verdict. Which Mint wins for you? Summing it up, Linux Mint 22.3 Pros include a more modern cinnamon menu, better input or language support, enhanced gaming compatibility, and overall polish, making it ideal for Windows users seeking the freshest experience. About the cons, minor visual changes might require a quick reset of settings during upgrade from 22.2. Now, Linux Mint 22.2 Pros Proven stability, no need to upgrade if you are already set up. And identical core performance. About the cons, misses the latest refinements like the menu redesign. For productivity focused users, either works. But go 22.3 for the tweaks. Gamers, 22.3's anti syncs edges helps. For general use on older hardware, both excels. But 22.3 is slightly snappier. Now, the superior choice. Linux Mint 22.3. It's the logical next step for a seamless Windows switch with support until 2029. If this helped, drop your experience in the comments. Did you switch? And which version you were using? Hit subscribe for more Linux tips. And let's make the open source transition easier. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.